Hello, everybody, and welcome back to X-Plane 11. We're going to do another GA flight today from Tampa over to Orlando. We will have some uh, nice ortho scenery uh, along the way. We are in the Just Flight Cicada. Uh, this is the TB-10. This is the little Tobago, but uh, it does come with the TB-20, the Trinidad. We're going to fly this one instead. I believe the Trinidad has... Uh, I don't think it has fixed gear. Maybe it has uh, retractable gear. Uh, but anywho, the TB-10 that we're flying today does not. Anywho, welcome to the Just Flight uh, Cicada. Let's uh, jump into this guy and check it out. And welcome aboard the TB-10. You can see here it is a very interesting looking airplane. I love what they've done with the texturing. It looks fantastic. Uh, I am a huge fan of anything that Just Flight's been bringing to X-Plane 11. It's really starting to uh, set the bar high on GA. Uh, from there, we can uh, go ahead and oh, you can open your pilot door, co-pilot door, your baggage door, things like that. Oil lid. You can do an engine check, uh, ice and fluid. We're not going to worry about any of that stuff today. We're going to do a, a fun, small, short flight today. Uh, we've got all this ready to go. Uh, fuel wise, we'll be looking at fuel. We're good on fuel. Don't need any of that. Weight and balance looks good. It says we have a pilot or we have a passenger, so I, I don't care about that. No big deal plenty of fuel on board this airplane uh checklist wise let's have a look here um let's flip back to pre-flight so pre-flight we've already pretty much done everything locks covers removed so you can hit this little guy or you can uh you know click this little guy right there uh both of those will remove all the stuff from outside so let's go ahead and click that and there it goes just like that now we have control of our yoke which is fantastic uh main switch so check this out this is how you uh, use all of your main switch, your alternator, all this. It's circuit breakers. You push them in, and then if you don't want them on, you just trip them with the red uh, little switch. Isn't that interesting? From an air, from I've never seen it before in my life with an airplane like this. So uh, it's it's a first for me. Let's go ahead and turn the main on, and you can hear everything power up. There we go. We have lights. Uh, alternator. Not worried about that right now. Turn coordinator. We want that on. Uh, strobe nav so the nav light in the beacon light are slaved together so keep that in mind landing taxi don't worry about that but listen to this when you hit the strobe light you can listen to it in your earphones that pop 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 i love those small little details that uh just flight puts in to their airplanes it's uh it's really cool so the avionics on this thing is uh right down here you have to turn your radio master on like that pretty interesting uh and then this is your parking brake believe it or not very in i've never seen anything like that before either <laughs> it's a it's a it's a cool airplane though it really is i uh, haven't i've got like a small amount of flight time in it just to make it you know make sure everything worked okay i think this is like a storm scope or something i haven't learned how to use that um yeah no idea how to use that but uh anywho let's go ahead and go through this not worry about all this crap this is all of our uh, pre-flight checklist stuff and we're not going to worry about that today engine starts what we want anti-collision lights we can turn the nav on we've already done that main switch is on prop lever is fully forward there we go bring you all the way back and you all the way back uh, all right mixture is idle cut off right now uh fuel pump so we just click this guy on you can hear it come on right there and we're gonna go mixture full rich and we're gonna watch for our fuel flow oh we don't have fuel flow because we have to turn our fuel selector on to the left there we go. Now we add it. And I didn't see it move there, but I could be wrong. That should be good enough there. Uh, okay. Mixture idle cutoff. Fuel pump is off. Mag selector to start. Okay, we know how to start a plane. So let's go ahead and go quarter throttle on this guy. Uh, wrong one. Wrong one. Here you go. Right there. Quarter throttle is good. Prop is forward. Let's go ahead and fire this baby up. And we'll add that mixture in when we're ready. And a little bit more than that. There we go. Didn't sound very nice, but it just, it clicks over and over and over and over again. I wish it didn't do that. I don't know why I've been having all my GA airplanes do that to me. See? Let's go ahead and close our uh, little uh, doors here. Changes the sound. Love that stuff. It is so good. All right, so that's good. That's good. We're at that. We can bring our throttle back actually to about a thousand rpm there we go so the let's listen to let's turn our radio master on and let's get our flight plan in here 
Uh, direct to Orlando. Enter, enter. Should be good to go, actually. Okay. Menu. A activate leg. No, no, no. No, that looks good to me. Can we go to a different page? Oh, we're in the flight plan page. That's why. We need to be in nav. There we go. And now we can go to this guy. And now we can see our range and our flight. Beautiful. Good to declutter things, but not worried about that. That looks good right there. Um, let's go ahead and grab our ATIS. I believe it's, uh, what is it? Here at Tampa, 12645. Oh, I got moved. Okay. Thought I had that in there for the for the pre-flight. Tampa INTL That's okay. information call. Tampa INTL, classic. Zulu weather. Wind calm. Visibility more than 10. All right. Sky conditions 2,500 few. 8,500 scattered. 10,500 broken. Temperature 28, 2.3. Altimeter 3003. Altimeter 3003. So here's where it gets interesting. Uh, this airplane does not have an altimeter how we're used to. It's in, uh, I believe it's, what is it? It's in millibars or something. Um, I'm just not used to this conversion. So I think 3003 is like 1017 when I last looked it up. Uh, when I, before I got into the sim here today. So I think we're just going to leave it right there. That seems kind of accurate. <laughs> I know. That's great, right? That's what you want. Let's turn this on. Uh, we'll go to out mode 1200. That's good for me. Oh, that's good. What are you down here doing? ADF, BF, blah, 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 blah. Not worried about that. Uh, okay, so for our departure, we want to have it outbound 262, which it's set. It should be. I pre previously came in here and, and set most of it. So let's we'll see. A 262 is about right there. There we go. I think that'll be fine. Five, yep, six, two. We'll do that. Um, all right. I can't think of anything else. Let's go ahead and get out of here. What we're going to do is we're going to make a right turn down here. Winds are calm. We're going to go down to runway one zero. It's just shot right directly out to the east. So it kind of works out for us. Um, we'll do our run up when we get down over there. But uh, let's get rolling. Let's go ahead and remove that parking brake. And I have brakes. And they have brakes. Uh, taxi light, please. There we go. Taxi light. Also, I will be using Track IR today for the first time in the flight. Turn that on right now, so you can see. Very nice, smooth look around. Very cool. So we'll be using that. Uh, let's go ahead and get out of here. We're going to taxi down Romeo here, make a right on Echo. Uh, we are going to double check our VLOC is set to 116. That's the Lakeland VOR. We should be picking that up once we uh, get out here towards the runway. We're not picking it up yet, which is interesting. Uh, let's try swapping those guys. There's 116 there. Okay, so it's definitely in there. It's just not picking it up yet. Not a big deal. Take Echo down. We'll make a left the next turn. As we're taxiing, I'm seeing this yellow light. That's our uh, alternator we forgot to turn on. So we need to do that. Uh, that just means our taxi light's on. Uh, we have a low vac right now because we're just idling here. And we can verify that there. We have low vac. Turn our uh, flight controls back on here. And uh, let's open up our ch checklist here. We don't have a taxi checklist that don't believe. After engine start. Nope, just take off. So we don't even have one for our run up which we're going to do before we get going take off doors lock controls full free blah blah blah, blah. see what it says here anything we need to know rotations at 68 knots so right around 70 interesting not 55 like in a Cessna 172 and I believe we have to use uh, flaps is that what I just said yeah flaps to take off so I'm not used to that 
Normally in a small G airplane like this, we wouldn't have to worry about flaps at all, but let's go ahead and set those flaps to take off, which is right here. There they go. And we can verify those right there. Fantastic. All right, we are just about to the edge here of the runway. We're going to do our run up right here. You see there's the wind sock. It shows winds very calm right now. So let's go ahead and stop right here before runway one zero. Love this freeware scenery. It looks very nice indeed. Remember weird, uh, weird setting there for our parking brake, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and bring the RPMs up. I'm going to go about what 1900 or so. I'm not sure what it is for this airplane, but we're going to just do 1900. There we go. That looks good. And let's check these magnetos. We'll do the right side first. There's our 50 drop back to both. We'll do the left one. There's the drop back to both. That looks good. Uh, a lot of people have always told me that uh, I don't cycle the props enough during the run up. And that's true. It's just a simulator. So that's the reason why I normally don't do it, but we'll do it today. I'll show you. We'll go down. Let it cycle completely out. Back up. You do it about three times. I think the standard is three times, actually. And you're just making sure that your prop is working. So we're going to appease those people that like that today. That looks fantastic. Let's bring our range in a little bit. Don't need to be so far out. So we see that magenta line. You don't need the intersections, that's for sure. All right, let's check everything else. We've got fuel flow. We've got oil pressure. All the uh, oil pressure and temps all up here. Uh, we've got vacuum. You see the vac lights out there. Let's go ahead and pull that sucker back to idle. And let's go landing light and strobe light. Let's go. We don't need pedo. So landing, strobe, fuel pump off. We're ready to go take off, everybody. Let's go ahead and do that. Turn that guy back on. Oh, we need to box our controls. Uh, we can do that with the track IR. So let's do that. Let's turn track IR on. There we go. And we got left, back, and forward. I see it working back there. Looks good. Yep. Free and correct. All right. Let's go ahead and put you away. Take you off. And we are clear for takeoff. Flight line is clear. We don't have any. AI on today. Just a quick hop over to Orlando. Nothing too serious. Not sure what to expect from this airplane. Um, on a long or on landing, I haven't landed it yet. I've only uh, taken off and, and flown it around a little bit to make sure uh, everything worked in it, and it does. But I can tell the uh, the th the uh, rudder sensitivity seems a little sensitive, so we might have this thing be a little squirrely. For me, it wasn't too bad on the last one. Last takeoff I did in it. Line up on one zero here. And we'll smoothly apply full power. Oh man, that's really nice indeed. Weather just updated there. Airspeed is alive. Ooh, a little bit more right rudder there. There we go. And rotate. Oh man, that thing climbs like a bat out of hell. <laughs> I think our, our takeoff trim our trim was not set to take off or something there. It's a little interesting. All right, looking good there. There we go. We just got it picked up there. Grab that needle here shortly. And we will bring our flaps up. There's the drop. Keep climbing out here. Climbs out faster than a Cessna, I'll tell you that. All right, let's go ahead and uh, get ready to Oh, look at this. You have to use your uh, your rudder. A lot of GA airplanes in X-Plane 11, you do not have to use your rudder very much. So this is kind of a pleasant surprise to actually have to stomp on the ball. All right, we're going to get off course. So let's go ahead and start making a right turn here. Because it's going to be backwards of what we're used to because we're going outbound. Nice thousand feet per minute climb here and climb to about 3,000 feet and climb out about 100 knots not bad at all does it have a climb checklist because I don't know if it does or not 
Uh, 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 uh. Do you have a climb checklist, sir? Uh, climb. Initial climb is 75 knots. Oh, yeah, we are in a complex airplane, so let's pull our prop back. So initial climb was 75, so we, we did about 80. It, it was It's pretty lightly loaded, so it was kind of good to go there. All right, we should be all right there. Pull power back a little bit. Still a thousand feet per minute. That's pretty good. All right, I'm not going to worry about the uh, rudder right now. I'm a single pilot in here, so not a big deal. All right, what else we got? Flaps have retracted. Fuel pump is off. I didn't we even know we needed it on, so. Lights is required. Mixture full rich. Throttle full power. Uh, okay. Prop lever forward. So, airplane needs everything it can get out of it, so that's okay. I'm just going to bring it into the green arc. I'd rather it do that than... Have it do something else stupid. Yeah, I don't know what that uh, the VR is doing. Oh, you know what? It's because we're uh, we're following the GPS. Uh, we have radio navigation if we need it for the backup uh, and a landing checklist. There's there really not a lot to the checklists with this airplane. I'm noticing, but that's okay. That is a okay. All right, we're off course here, so let's start turning right here. We're talking too much, and we're not flying the airplane. Bad, Jeff. Climb to 3,000 feet. Coming up on 3,000 feet here. I could probably just send the CDI over to GPS, make it easier for ourselves here. And that's looking good. There's 3,000 feet right there. Level off here. It got murky out, didn't it? Oh, yeah, it did. There was uh, some rain showers in the area of Tampa I saw on the METAR, but I thought they had moved on. So we might hit some of that. That's okay. That happens. Well, this thing is pretty fast, though. Pull back a little bit more manifold pressure here. Nothing too crazy. It has a lot of lift in these wings. Let's bring that nose down a little bit more here. That's not too bad. But we are trying to trim this thing out at 3,000. Seems to be doing okay right now. So that's good. Let's go ahead and turn the autopilot on, actually. Autopilot engage. We'll do nav. We'll do altitude. Uh, what else do we have here? Heading, nav, approach, back course. I think it was, for, as long as we're on that, we're good. And it looks like it's starting to grab it. Let's look on our next page. Yeah. We're pretty much tracking towards it. It's just going to slowly grab it and then turn left there. But now we're on auto, autopilot. Autopilot. Yeah, that's what we are on. Uh, autopilot and in IMC for the most part. Well, I found the panel lights there over here on the left-hand side, so we can bring those guys up. Actually, let's mess with them a little bit here. Bring those up. You got over... Oh, that's like our uh, main light there, and then... This one might be this. Yeah, the secondary light back there. So, just panel lights right here. Turn them up. I like the panel lighting. Looks really cool. But yeah, we're in pretty much IMC conditions. Uh, let's flip this guy over to this way. It's slowly starting to track it. The, uh, the autopilot is. It's trying to get back onto it. Not a big deal. Uh, bring it out here. And you can see our course. So we're about a quarter way into the trip. We popped out of the clouds. We are uh, still travel along here at 3,000 feet. Let me go ahead and turn our, uh, turn our panel lights off. We don't need those on right now. But if we encounter more murky conditions, we will. Uh, what am I doing? I can always turn on my uh, track IR and have a nice look around. That's the, uh, the whole point of it, right? Look at that. Goodbye, clouds. Hopefully, it'll stay this way all the way to Orlando. So we can actually see the ground a little bit, which is really nice. Been pretty pleasant though. Uh, not very much, or actually, no turbulence at all so far. So uh, it's been very smooth air.
Well, as luck would have it, we are uh, back in IMC conditions. Unfortunately, once we started getting closer to Orlando, we might be between two weather stations reporting uh, different information, and it might be what the reason why we're having this. Um, but that's okay. It explains why we have such smooth air right now. Uh, still 3,000 feet. We are 34 miles out from Orlando. You can actually click on this guy and you can look at the map and uh, you can see we're just outside of the uh, the airspace there. So we have a little bit more longer to go here at 3,000 feet. It's not going to take us long to get down to pattern altitude. So we'll just uh, keep trucking along here at 3,000. Well, it is clearing up a little bit. We're ready to start our way down. So let's pull back power a little bit here and just start our way down. I turned off the autopilot already. Uh, saved you the horrible noise that it makes, the, the loud screeching sound of the beep. We're 24 miles out. Don't have the airport in sight, so we're just gonna continue our way down here. Uh, 500 feet per minute. Yeah, pretty, pretty murky. Let's see if we can pick up the uh, ATIS in Orlando. It's 125.25. Let's see if we can do that. 125.25. And we do it. 120. And 5.25. There we go. Orlando INTL Information Hotel. 2000 Zulu Weather. With 090 and 6. Visibility 10. Rain. Sky Rain. 10 miles. 1,400 scattered, 10,500 overcast, temperature 17, dew point minus 2, altimeter 3006, arriving runway 17 left, departing runway 17 left, advise on initial contact you have hotel. 17, so we'll, we'll be landing on 18 right actually, because we're going to go down to the, the uh, GA ramp, so no reason to not do that actually. 20 miles out. Yeah, we got the message. Oh, what did he say the altimeter was? I didn't hear that part. 3006, so we're pretty damn close. We were at 3003. All right. Oh, we do have hotel now, so we don't have to worry about that. Um, still coming on down here. Looking just fine. 20 miles out. Don't have the airport. See, I mean, an interesting approach, that's for sure. Uh, I did end up turning off my taxi light. It took me forever to realize that I have my taxi light on the whole time, but the landing light is on. That's all that matters right now. Here we go. 1,500 feet's pretty good. You'll see a tower down there. That's the reason why I'm staying at this altitude right there. You can see it right down there. Yep, we don't want to mess around with those. We're in the arc for flaps, so let's go first set of flaps there. It'll help slow this airplane down. Lane lights on. We are good. All we need to do is just find our runway, which is right here on the right. Yep, right there. That's our runway. We'll have a nice base leg to it. So it kind of worked out for us. Could have been better, you know? But that's all right. I digress. On down to 800 feet here. Maintain 80 knots. Oh, yeah. I can see the whole airport now. Come on down to 800. We're looking good here. Probably a tad high on this approach, but that's okay. Pull some more power here. We're full on our prop. Mixture is rich. And next setting a flap. Man, that is... The flaps on this thing really rock at that sucker up. Look at those things. Those are interesting. 
Boy, that got slow in a hurry, didn't it? I think we want more speed than that. All right, we've got our field up there, runway. We're going to be a tad high here, but that's all right. I figured we would be. Pitch that nose over, man. I've never landed this airplane, so these are very new, uh, very new things that it's doing that I don't understand, but that's okay. Start our turn here. Stomp on the ball, because now it matters. I'm trying to maintain 70 knots. I don't know what the final approach speed on this plane is. A little bit too much there. That's right. It's a great big runway. No hurry. But it does not want to get down. Like, I am full forward on that, uh, on that trim. And it was like, nope. Power for altitude. Gotta remember that. The landing lights look really nice on it. Very high on the approach, but that's all right. Now we're looking okay. I'm just going to shoot for 65 knots. I don't know what the uh, final approach is on this guy. And we're down. Oof. Hello. That is an interesting feel there. The nose just skates on the left and right there. It didn't do that on the takeoff so much. Well, that's all right. First landing in the plane. Not going to be great by any means. All right. Let's make a right turn here at this taxiway. Yeah, it's it was fine on the ground in Tampa, but now it seems like it just it wants to be really sensitive, which I didn't have a problem with before. So that's new. Bring our flaps in. Don't mind that taxi light. We'll taxi into the the GA ramp over there. We can go ahead and kill our landing lights. God, that's so weird seeing that down there. Uh, yep, there you are. Red. Boom. Boy, that's a hole to do to get to that guy. And strobe can come off too. Click it. Thank you. Appreciate it. I do like track IR though. It's nice to just be able to look around, you know? I mean, that's, that's very important instead of having to use your mouse to scroll around and look for the airport. This made life a lot easier. That's for sure. Let's pull in right here and we'll come to a stop. Remember we have the, uh, okay. Parking brake is set. All right, let's go ahead and turn our uh, track IR off and we have a shutdown checklist. Oh, landing speed 86 to 92 knots for landing. Really? No, airspeed 73. Okay, so it wasn't that bad. That's pretty much what we were we were shooting for was around 70. 
After landing, fuel pump is off, flaps retracted, lights, we already did all that. And they don't have one for shutting down. Park brake set, turn bank off, okay. So that guy goes off now. All right, radio master comes off. Throttle to idle. There we go. Mag selector, check. I don't know what that means. Idle cut off, yep, here we go. Let's go and kill the engine. Always love shutting it down, shakes it around. All right, uh, engine confirmed off. Alternator field standby. I'm gonna turn that guy off actually. Main switch off. Fuel selector is set to, it was on the right one now. There you go, it's off. And locks, covers installed, end of checklist. So let's go ahead and do that. Boom, boom. It's raining, just very lightly raining. But uh, guys, that's going to do it for this flight from Tampa to Orlando in the Just Flight Cicada TB10. Uh, the Tobago. The uh, other one is the Trinidad, so we still have to fly that. But uh, anywho, I'll see you next time. Take care.